Sports Pregame Show. Welcome, everybody. Excited to have you in the house with us on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It is the NBA playoffs. We've been waiting a long time for yes, this. Yes, we have. Yes. Yes. We'll watch the Miami Heat in this one as they go up against the Cleveland Cavaliers at Quicken Loans Arena. Checking out Cleveland, the top seed in the East. They'd never admit to looking past their opponent, but their goal is to make short work of this series and keep fresh for a title run. Now, if you want to see a stat sheet stuffer, you're going to want to keep your eyes on Freak in this one. He's been putting up a number of double-doubles in this recent outing, Shaq. You know, Freak knows that he can do more than just be a scorer on this team. You know, he's a great passer. He's a great leader, especially for a young guy. He's looking for a shot. He's being active all the time, and he's really helping the others play at a high level, Ernie. I haven't seen a guy like this come into the league in a long time. Man. Stop it. I'm serious. Not a Stop guy like it. this who has multiple. To the great fans here tonight, to the first class organization, and to an all-star group of teammates, you are the NBA most valuable player. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. It's, it's an, an honor, honor to receive this award. award. But first, first things first, first. This, this isn't just me. To the, the 14 guys on my team, team. the great, great coaching staff, staff. You, guys you guys made this happen as much as I did. Thank you. you. But most, most of all, all this, this is for all of you. you. It's, it's an, an honor, honor to, to receive this award. award in front of the greatest fans in the world. Your support means so much to me. And of course, Mama, Dad, Yvette, CC. I love you guys. This is for you too. But now, it's time to go out there and win this game. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Lex Thomas 21 and I'm back with NBA 2K16 My Career Gameplay. This is the game one of the NBA playoffs. I'm playing against the Miami Heat. And I'm gonna let you guys know this game pissed the fuck off of me, man. This this game really pissed me off. Um 2K really hit the 2K switch on me in this game. I'm not even playing a Hall of Fame, you guys. I'm playing on all-star I'm not even gonna lie because those I, I I just couldn't stand Hall of Fame and then superstar I'm like man he's getting a little complicated as well they really up the defense in this game they really upped a lot of things in this game it really pissed me off so much that I just I got I, I just I just got tired I just got tired after this game I'd like fuck this I turned the game I had to go straight to work after this game so I was just that's probably why I was playing the way I was playing Maybe I had to go straight to work and it just wasn't, it just wasn't me. Like that shit right there, man. I was not trying to pass the Mozgov. I tried to pass it back to Kyrie, but they made me pass the Mozgov for some reason. Shit like that, man. It just really pisses me off in this game. But let's get back into the game, man. Like right now, we tried to have the advantage, but somehow it was just not working for us. Like look at this, sixteen and nine right now. That was a dumb shot, but somehow they gave it to me. And it's just like we just not did not have the advantage in this game. Somehow the Heat was just. It was just smarter. It felt like it was smarter. It felt like they had the upper hand. And I don't understand how that was possible because I started out right. I started throwing nice passes, started getting good shots, and it just was not working for me. I just could not get the upper hand in this game. I, I think I was down wide out the whole portion of this game. It just really pissed me off. 
And I just did not know what to do, man. I was trying to do everything I could. Set picks, get good shots, go inside. It was not giving me no fouls. Like, I was going inside so many times trying to get the foul. Could not get it. But every time they go inside, they get a foul off the thing. Or they get an one. They get an and one. Or they get a three. Every single time. It's not even kidding. This boy, Chris Bosh, he's a monster in this game. He does not miss. He has almost made every three in this game, I think. I'm not going to show the game threes because I got so pissed. But he made every single one, I swear. He sat down with Freak to discuss his MVP season and what winning the award means to him. It's such a great honor. I never dreamed it could really be me. But, you know, MVP isn't an individual award in my eyes. I owe so much to my teammates, my coaches, my family, and my fans. I'm so grateful for them. I wouldn't be here without him. Thompson comes in for Kevin Love. Well, as you guys seen earlier, my boy did win the MVP. Uh, I think I got some other awards. I think I also got most improved player. And I got, I, I think I got, um, I didn't get defensive player. But I got most improved. That's my steal. And I got um, MVP. I know I was going to get those two awards because last year I really didn't play that well. But I really improved this year. Um, and then, of course, I was my MVP regardless. See, like right here, we were... We were getting up. I was doing pretty well right here. I got 15 points, three rebounds, and four assists right now. Look, we left Chris Bosh open, but he actually missed that three surprisingly because he would make that. I passed my boy Kyrie. He is quicker than him, so he would be able to get that layup. And now we're up. I'm like, okay, we got this. We keep this lead, pass it back to me. I'm open right here, and that's clean. That's a three. That's all me. That's all me right there. Like my boy getting hyped. Then the flip gets switched on us, and we are down again. I set the pick, I'm trying to call for. I see my boy Varys. I was, oh, that's, that's Kevin Love, I mean, but he also gets the and one. And then 2K hit the switch on us again, and we're down by eight. It's just nothing I can do. I get to go for the three, and that's dead eye, cuz. Calling the forward again. I'm trying to do everything I could to try to get us to score. We are down again. It's just crazy. We just cannot stop them. I felt so little between these guys. I just could not stop them from scoring. I couldn't get no steals. Like I just at the point in time I think I had like three fouls from reaching in, so I just gave up on steals. Um, I just stopped reaching because there's just nothing, nothing I could do. Look at this. Left Bosch open again, and he get that bitch right in my face. Are you telling me Chris Bosch can shoot like that? Like I don't understand. And look at this. Look, look at the score, man. We're down by 13. I try my hardest, my best to get us the score, man. I try my hardest, man. I was doing everything. I was trying to shoot. I was trying to get assists. I just pop, popped up threes. And look, they gave me that, but I was just popping up anything to keep us in this game. And I just could not do it. Like right now, we're down by 12. I like, there's nothing I can do. I try to hit him with the clutch. I'm trying to shoot the little nice little jumper. I'm like, I'm shooting anything. I'm shooting anything. They're not make us get down by a lot right now. Right now we are down by 13, and it really pissed me off, man. I'm like, what the fuck? I did not know what to do. I'm shooting a three, and that's cash. Keep us down within 10. We're still down by 10. At this point in time, I just, I, at this point, I was like, I'm, I'm done. I, I'm, I'm, I don't care no more. I'm just get my stats up, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show that I don't, I'm, I'm gonna keep us in this game, cause it's not my fault that why we're down, obviously. Uh, I have 32 points, I have 6 rebounds and 8 assists, well 9 assists now, like, like I just had to shake my head, man, my, my guys were not shooting shots, look, I got the ankle breaker in his face and that's cash money, I made Dwayne Wade look like a fucking cheapskate, I'm not, I'm shooting 50% right now, look at this, they left him open, that's my man, I left Lou Aldang open, that was terrible, Right, back with this cheese. I'm going inside for the dunk. Two hands for safety. No, we thought we like we got this. Okay, we good. We good. We good. All right. It's only 97 and uh, 91. But look at this. He get the clutch and one. 
Right now we are down by five. I'm like, okay, I see Kyrie inside. We got the momentum. Let's keep this up. Let's keep this up. We only down by three. We only down by three. We only down by three. Oh nope. The flip got this flip got switched on us again. And we can't do nothing. And look at this. No foul though. I'm like, okay. Alright. I'm like, I'm calling for, I'm calling for it. I, w I went for the shot. I didn't try to fade, but they gave me the three anyway. I'm like, all right, let's keep this up. And they had to call a timeout to stop our man momentum, of course. And then the 2K switch got flipped on us again. We're down by 10. At this point in time, I just stopped caring. I just stopped caring. And as you guys know, I did not win this game. We are down by 11. It's only one minute left. I know it's probably possible to do it, but we had to end up fouling. They're going to make the free throw, so there's no point in doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Game two will be coming. Um... That's a different story. I'll get to that later. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please slap the like button. Please subscribe for more. If you guys have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 2,000 subs. Most likely probably by the end of this year. But let's see. I hope that happens. Please, God, let that happen. Uh, please uh, slap the like button. Go check out my other bros' channels as well. And I'm honest with you guys. Peace. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's...